Well, tell me a little bit about yourself and your background in IoT. Sure. Um, my name is Brendan Hayes, and I've been working with the Weather Underground for 12 years. Okay. Um, and our experience with IoT has been through our personal weather station network. Okay. And our personal weather station network has been sending data to us for over 10 years. Wow. And that data comes to us every two and a half seconds. Two and a half seconds? Yep. And how many are there? Uh, we're up to over 130,000 stations <laughs> around the world. Wow. Yep. And so we've actually got more weather stations than Starbucks and McDonald's combined. No kidding, <laughs> wow, that's an interesting statistic. Okay, mm -hmm. and so what was the evolution to turn that, I mean, when did it start becoming interesting for IOT as they call it now? Sure, um, it's became, it, it became interesting for IOT in the ways that we were already collecting the data yeah. and we started to syndicate that data back out. Okay. And so um, with a company like Nest, mm -hmm. they came to us and wanted weather to feed into their system right. so that the thermostat could be smarter and it can make decisions in your home based on the external conditions. Mm. And then at the end of the month, they send you a report that says your thermostat ran you know, hotter or colder because of the external conditions. Right. So then you have a balance for your um, understanding your bill at the end of the month. Now, was that one of the first customers that you had that kind of you know, alerted you to IoT, or was there something before um, that? That was sort of the best and most popular one mm -hmm. to kind of come out yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, I think probably some of our earlier ones were uh, sprinkler companies. Okay. You know, it makes a lot yeah. of sense. Makes a lot of sense. You tie weather data into yeah. watering your lawn, um, but I think sprinkler companies are having a hard time getting a footing mm. in that kind of consumer level right. uh, uh, accessibility. So, what is it? Uh, what is the service that the weather company is actually selling? What What is it? Sure, um, we syndicate our weather data back to news organizations, uh, to other publishers and media companies, mm -hmm. and then I focus on our API. And our so, so explain the syndication mm -hmm. between the syndicate. What's the difference between the syndication and the API then? Uh, the syndication is where we can work directly with partners okay. um, like Yahoo or somebody okay. like that, okay. or Apple, uh, where we're getting the data back out there to them. Um, so and you've established that connection mutually. You've worked yes. On it and then, okay. Yep, and those are kind of business development deals. Right. And uh, the API allows for easy easy sign up and access for mm -hmm. the developer, for mm -hmm. the hobbyist. Um, for the app maker, mm -hmm. there's a zillion AP, uh, apps that have been made yeah. uh, about the that weather. Access it, okay. Yeah, and so uh, one of our fun favorite examples is Weather Kitty. That weather kitty. they made the of course it's going to have the kitty. All yeah, right. and there's and Weather Puppy I'm, too. I for would not be surprised the kitty's super popular too, right? <laughs> it breaks the internet all the time. All the time. <laughs> and so um, you know that's the kind of app that the weather company wouldn't have set out to make, right, but right. we're happy to power apps like that that okay. kind of add a little fun to the weather. So you sell an app then for for Weather Kitty. What is the business model then? Is, is there one in that case, or is, sure? Yeah. When we work with companies like that, um, the API itself is built on a tiered billing system. Mm -hmm. uh, you can come in for free as a developer okay. or a personal use, right? Um, and then if you go over 500 hits a day, then you start to get into a tiered okay. billing system. Okay. Um, and then if you want to go higher, then you can get in touch with us in business development, and we can work out a deal. Okay. So that and that's pre pretty much the same business model for all customers then? It's just on a usage, more yep. or less, I guess? more or less, yep. Yeah, yeah. And Hello Kitty, or I mean, Kitty <laughs> Weather. <laughs> Hello Kitty Weather would be a good one, too. <laughs> so they must be paying a boatload to you guys. Well, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we can work, we work that out really well with them, and, and we like, you know, being able to support a fun app like that. Yeah, for sure. Now, what about more serious uh, examples? Let's let's hear some examples, or maybe just give me a, give me a broad range of different ways that, that your data has been used uh, to date. Sure. Um, with our public API, mm -hmm. um, I always think of it sort of like whale hunting, okay. um, where you know tons of people sign up every day for the API, yeah. but once in a while you'll get a really awesome partnership that comes right, out of that. Right. Um, so we provide weather to Facebook, where okay. you're looking at an event and it shows you what the weather is going to be for the day of your event. Mm -hmm. um, and we also work with Snapchat, powering their weather uh, smart filters. Okay. And so the most popular use for that is you know your feet in the sand and a beer in your hand and and your temperature of 90 degrees, and you're just sort of bragging to your friends. So what is it? Does it put the, the, the how does Snapchat use it? Does it put the temperature on, yep. the, on the actual On image? the photo, yeah, on as a photo. layer on top of the photo. Oh. So then you snap it out to your friends, right, and right. they all get jealous that you're on the beach. Yeah, in 90 degree weather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and have you considered, so you're providing, uh, what, what's the level of data then? Are you, are you, is it strictly data, and then each of the app developers need to 
convert that into, into whatever information they want, or are you going up a little bit higher, you know, kind of in the abstraction layer? Or what, what, maybe you can talk about that. Sure. Uh, the data we provide uh, kind of covers the whole gamut of weather options. So you've got okay. current conditions, your five-day forecast, your text forecast. Um, we also offer almanac data, astronomy data, oh. hourly forecasts. Okay. Um, and so because of our tiered model, we also have like a which level of data access you want, which mm -hmm. creates kind of a pricing matrix. Okay. And so some people just want current conditions, like right. a Snapchat example right. is just the current temperature, right. and, and they also use wind. Um, but you know, you look at somebody like a weather kitty, they're going to want to show the whole forecast and yeah. drill into the days and hours and stuff like that. Um, so it's up to the end user how much data they want to ingest, and then it's up to them also how to display that data. Um, you know, we have branding attribution requirements and stuff sure. like that. But we like to see the fun ways that people use weather data. Yeah, no, and weather's weather is so important. I mean, in a lot of industrial, are there any industrial applications um, mm -hmm. as well? Um, yeah, we work with uh, power companies through mm -hmm. our. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, through our company uh, WSI. They do the kind of B2B business, oh. and they are the ones who also made the, uh, the IBM deal that was announced okay. recently. And so that B2B market mm -hmm. um, deals a lot with kind of energy and industry. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the WSI focus is also on aviation. And aviation. Yep, and okay. they provide forecasts for the airplanes. And, and what is WSI then? It's just WSI is part of the weather company, yeah. and so they're um, they're a sister to us. I'm part of the weather underground, and we're yeah. all under the umbrella of the weather company. Okay. Um, and so WSI handles a lot of the white label B two B. White label B two B. All right. Well, where can uh, people find out more about the API and the company and the services that you provide? Sure. Um, you can go to the weatherapi.com. Weatherapi.com. Yep. And that will lead okay. right into our API sign up on the Weather nice, Underground page. Nice. Um, and then, if you want to know more about um, our IBM deal, you can look up the most recent press releases about it. Okay. And of course, Weather Underground is Wonderground.com. Yes. And then there's always Weather.com. Excellent. Well, thank you. Sure. Thank you.